Given that tomorrow is game day in the box, Coach Jay Johnson uh, making some time for us here on a Wednesday. We are grateful as always. Coach, what's going on? How are we feeling this Wednesday morning? Good morning. How are you guys doing? Uh, we're doing well, man. Doing well. Getting excited for uh, for baseball this weekend. Uh, let's look back, though, before we look forward. And um, as painful as this may be, let's go back to Friday. And really the question I want to ask you is not – about necessarily what went down, but how did y'all process what went down? Because I actually feel like the team responded pretty well the rest of the weekend, but knowing what was on the line and having the game end in the manner that it did, on the road especially, what was your message to the team after the game? Yeah, it was a tough loss, I think, um, given the circumstances. I mean, given you're up 7-3 in the eighth, you're up 7-6, two outs, two strikes, nobody on base and probably the best reliever in the SEC on the mound, like that's not usually one you lose and yeah. losing it in a manner that we did with walk, walk, hit by pitch, swing, bunt, error. Um, yeah, that one's tough to take because even as until the ball, you know, sailed past here, like we were winning the game, you know, I mean, it was, it was tough. Um, Is that know, the worst think, you've ever I, experienced in your career? Uh, it's up there, you know, given, uh, given the circumstances, you know, and especially if everything played out the same, the way that it did, we would, we'd be in pretty good shape, you yeah. know, in spite of, you know, not being exactly where we would want to be. But, you know, after the game, you know, I took a little different approach of like, Hey, like we played a really good game here tonight until the last three minutes of this thing. Yeah. And um, you're going to find out a lot more about yourself as a person. Like it, it'd be really easy to quit. And, you know, the first time you quit on something, it's, it's kind of the hardest, but then it becomes easier and easier. And that's not something you want to set up for yourself as a pattern in life, you know, you know, more than just this baseball season. And, and to our team's credit, they have not done that. You know, you know, our, our SEC record is not where we want it to be. But uh, if you watch this series, all three games, you know, our guys competed, grinded, and this is important to them. And I expect them to play this weekend like it's important to them. Yeah, they absolutely did that. I mean, you come back, you win the next game, and then on Sunday, like, you give yourself an opportunity. You're down, and you fight back, and you almost, you know, come all the way back. And so that is something, Coach, that you saw from your team. But what about, like, heading into this week? What's the message? Like, do you kind of lay out what's in front of them? Obviously, they know, but do you try to make it like every other week, or do you try to, you know, kind of point out what it is? Yeah, I think I think they know. I, I, I really do. And, uh, you know, it might not even be in our control at this point in time. But what it is in our control is how we compete in the game, how we prepare, uh, how we, you know, finish this thing out. And if we can if we can do that, as crazy as it sounds, like we still have a, a chance. And I like yeah. the fact that it's at home. I like the fact that we've played good baseball over the past month. And, you know, I don't think last weekend was an exception. You know, that that last inning was, was tough on Friday. Other than that, uh, it's some of the best baseball we've actually played all year long. Yep. Uh, tough, not, tough not to come out of that series with a win, you know, because normally when we play well, we, we win. But uh, this week, hey, we're at home. It's good to be at home. We're still playing for something. And if we play well, who, who knows? I mean, there, there's a lot of things in our favor, like in this case, being defending national champion, like, you know, people want us in the NCAA tournament. You know, people want Tommy White in the NCAA tournament. You know, our league is far better than any other league in the country. If you start looking around at, like, our record against other teams that are on the bubble, like, we haven't lost. Like, we have a ton of top 50 wins, you know. So yeah. there's a lot of things that are still in our favor. We need to just stockpile a few wins here between this weekend and the SEC tournament. Yeah, man. And um, one of the ways to do that is is going to try to be finding success on Sunday. And, it, and it's been a real rough go this year, Coach. And we know about uh, kind of the struggles on the mound come come Sunday. But uh, something, something we've been kind of thinking about a lot this week has been what's going on on the plate on Sunday's game. An average of 3.9 runs this year on Sunday. I think a max of six in that Mizzou game. Um, what is it like? Because we've seen these bats have great, consistent success against some of the best pitching in the league. What has it been on these on these last days of these series where the the lineup just can't seem to to get it consistently going? 
Yeah, I think there's a couple things. I mean, the good thing is at least this week we're not scheduled to play on Sunday. We're scheduled to play on Saturday for Game Three, so maybe that helps us out a little <laughs> bit. Um, but you know, early in the schedule, we ran into kind of a a unique deal where you know we ended up facing Jack Caglione on Sunday, who's their best pitcher, Carter Holton for Vanderbilt, who's their best pitcher. Sure. And just kind of, and and I would argue that Hess for Alabama was their best pitcher. You know, he hasn't maybe pitched great. But uh, he's one of the top five guys we've seen in the league this year as far as pure stuff. So there's been some yeah. of that. Other than that, you, you, again, you have – it's not a young team, but it's a team with a lot of guys playing in different roles. And we've had a lot of, like, intense games on Friday and Saturday. And, um, you know, some we've come out on the wrong end of. And uh, psychologically, you know, trying to get bounced back, it's a lot easier said than done. Now, that's our job to do that. And uh, that's what toughness is about, much much in the way that they did on Saturday after they tough loss on Friday. Uh, but it's you know it's something I'm looking into in all all phases. Like that day, honestly, over my coaching career, like that's been our day. Yeah. And and whether it's a physical strength thing, whether it's a mental strength thing, whether it's a um, you know a concentration thing, um, you know we'll look at we'll look at all of it as I do with everything because that's that's the day we win and. Um, you don't like it. I do think in this, this one was a little different. I thought it was a well-pitched game. I thought we competed hard, and uh, and we lost. And then sometimes in a few of those, like, you start chasing five or six runs, like we have in a couple of them. Like, that, that's difficult on the offense, too. So there's a lot of it. I'm not going to point to one thing. I do know that coming into, like, this game three this weekend, none of those game threes that have been played before have anything to do with this one unless we allow sure. it to. Yeah. And so – that that's what the fact is. I think I know the answer to this one, Coach. But with you know Hoover being on a Tuesday, so a different schedule for you. Like, does that come into your thought process and any move that you make over the weekend, or is it, hey, we got to get through this weekend and then I'll worry about that on you know Sunday night, Monday morning? Yeah, we, we're we're doing whatever we can to win the game tomorrow night. Yep. And uh, that's that's the first and foremost priority. You know, I do have a plan. I think there's a good roadmap for us, you know, for Hoover uh, with this team specifically, as strange as that might sound. But I'm I'm encouraged about what I think we can do there. Now, with where we've placed ourselves, we're going to play a great team. You're going to play Texas A&M, Georgia, or Mississippi State probably in yeah. that first game, or that play-in game. And, and for me, that's the first time we, we haven't had the bye in, in the tournament. So that's a little bit of a new experience. But – I like I like how we have it set up. What I think our plan is going to be, uh, we still got to get there. I mean, we got to win one, or Missouri's got to lose one, um, and then uh, take care of business this weekend. But uh, right now, it's one at a time. You know, each game is game seven, and and our team has been okay with that for about a month, and so <laughs> this weekend is no different. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I was about to say. Uh, to be fair, that's the 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 pressure they've been operating under for a long time now, and objectively, it has been a a much, much, much better second half of this SEC season. And, you know, Christian Little is one of those kind of uh, key common denominators as to why uh, the the results have improved over the second half of this season. What did it mean to you last weekend to see him go out there Friday, struggle, uh, but then when you bet him again on Sunday, come out and and, and really kind of right the ship and, and have a good outing? Well, I had to have it. Um, brought him in with the bases loaded in the eighth you know, down three and, uh, or excuse me, in the uh, seventh down three and one out and he got us out of it and allowed us to not only get it back to one, but we had the time run on third with one out and, and didn't get him in. And then after that, he went back out in the eighth and I mean, it was three up three down and it wasn't very long. Like that's a lot of pressure on Bama's pitching staff uh, to, to close the game out after a short, short inning like that so I thought he did a good job I think he's done a good job I think he's pitched as good as he ever has and uh you know that gives us a chance here over the next couple of weeks or week and a half coach obviously this is uh you know an Ole Miss team that you've already got your homework done on so kind of uh you know looking at this Ole Miss team what are some of the challenges that you'll face over the weekend well they played well last weekend against Texas A&M uh they definitely have talent um you know Fisher transfer from Duke, you know, 20 homers. He's swinging the bat as good as anybody in the conference right now. Uh, 
you know, most of their lineup is made up of, of, of transfers, so they're an older team. Uh, they pitched well last weekend um, from their starting pitching standpoint. So we're diving into those guys here today to make sure we can put the type of a bat we need to against them. And, you know, much like Alabama, I mean, they're they're right there. We're <laughs> It's kind of an elimination series probably, to yeah, be honest with you. 100%. Yeah, 100%. You know, it's, it's, just, it's just important. It's just as important to them. You know, obviously yeah. you could win the SEC tournament and all that, but uh, just in terms of us versus them, the winner of this series, it, it's going to be kind of hard to take the other one over the winner of this series. There, there's really no way you can do that, I think. Yeah, I mean, I agree, and it, it's it's kind of crazy, right? A couple of the recent national champions fighting for the tournament lives, and it's going down in the box this weekend. So if you love stakes, you love high-pressure baseball, it all starts tomorrow night. I cannot wait. Uh, Coach, I know it's very busy this time of year. Thank you so much uh, for making the time for this morning, for joining us, and we will uh, talk to you next time. Actually, I think we'll see you tonight. Maybe a little TF thing, but uh, you have a great day, Coach, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. All right, guys. Sounds good.